that's recording, yes it is. Welcome to Peaky Power and we're going to do a brief review on this YA100 King Bolan Enhanced Code Scanner. This is your budget end of code scanners for just reading codes on your EC on your vehicle. I'm going to try it on a Ford Transit, quite a newish Ford Transit, and then we're going to try it on an older vehicle. It's the first time I've unboxed it. It's got 10 modes of OBD2 test, whatever that is. It says 1996 and new, we'll test that in a moment. You can do CAN, turn off check lights, do a graph, battery voltage test, multi-language available, DTC lookup, it's got a colour screen. Um, so let's have a look. So it has got a colour screen. It's about the size of a screen you'd get from a mobile phone about 20 years ago. Uh, so yeah, it's not the greatest, but then this is just a budget scanner. So let's plug this in. Okay. So it's got voltage there. I always do. We'll turn the ignition on. Let's first do a DTC lookup. Okay, so DTC lookup. Loading data. Generic. We could go for generic, but if it gives us an option for Ford, we will do so. Ford. Please enter the... Oh, okay. So we can enter the code for a, for a lookup. Interesting. Right, okay, so that's what that is. Okay, well, that's interesting. I might have some data inside to help you. Let's diagnose. So engine management light says it's off, but it says it's got one. Hmm, interesting bit of information. Okay, so if we press OK on our DTC, read codes, stored codes. Here we go. Interesting that that is, that's added on. But there's a, there's the code that I know exists. Um, and a description, so that's cool. So that's stored, is there any pending? Same one, well, we've got two now. Okay, that's interesting, that's a pending one. The engine hasn't started, but I unplugged that. Uh, so that's interesting, that's picked up on that, that's cool. Okay, so, and it'll probably have one permanent code. No permanent codes, okay. Well, whatever, no permanent codes. Um, Sure. Uh, can it do some live data for us? Just thinking about it. It's got some basic live data, temperature, load, RPM, manifold pressure. Oh, okay, so it has got a bit of live data. Pretty tricky to use this for diagnosing stuff, though, I've got to admit, because you really need to see graphs. Uh, I don't suppose it'll allow me to do that. No. So it does give you live data. That's cool. Can it give freeze frame data as well? Yeah, now that's, that's, that is actually quite good. Not all more expensive plug-in things will give you the freeze frame data. So this is giving us the data of when that code popped up. The load that was on the engine, the temperature, the you know, RPM, speed of the vehicle, everything. That is... I'm impressed. I'm impressed that this little cheap thing will do that and it gives some vehicle information and oh, a couple of component tests what will it do on component tests no okay so that's not going to be working on that probably only certain vehicles cool and it'll do a voltage test good apparently 11.8 volts so it doesn't go in any deeper like a proper battery test but okay it's it shows your voltage that's better than nothing in it so, quick review. Well, actually, it does feel a bit cheap, if I'm honest. Um, but it works. It's lightweight, so you could carry it in the car, I suppose, without too much bother. Um, the buttons are easy to use. I guess you've had big thumbs and gloves on. Quite handy. Um, well, it works. It does a bit more than I expected it to do. It did that um, freeze frame data, but that is really handy. Um, as I say, some more expensive ones of these, I've seen that they don't do that, or they don't show it. Uh, let's go and try it on our earlier car, a 2000 Peugeot 306. Let's go and do that now. Here we are inside the Piggy Power Daily, the Peugeot 306 2-litre HDI. Uh, what a winning vehicle, of course. Uh, we've got our cheap tester plugged in. Let's see what it can do, shall we? Let's do a diagnostic. See if it will even communicate. It says it should, 1999. 1996 OBD2 onwards, which this is compliant with that. Oh, 
it will be a pleasant surprise for it to communicate, but it should do it. No. Okay. All right. Well, we'll give the we'll give the plug a wiggle. Right. Let's see if it communicates. Yes. Not all OBD2 scanners will communicate with these vehicles, even when they say they will. Nope, it won't. Okay, so I would say that this is not going to be much good for uh, anything pre-2002-2003. Um, you're going to struggle. If that's the vehicles you've got, don't get one of these. If you've got newer vehicles, this is a great uh, start to your diagnostic equipment. If you're just a DIYer, professionals, you should be looking elsewhere for this, thing, for much better stuff than this. But to just get some codes and basic data if you want to start repairing your own vehicles or you think you've got an issue and you, you, know, you want to just start with this, this can be cheaper than going to a garage and getting a diagnostic. Uh, it won't re replace the, the wisdom, the experience, the knowledge they have about diagnosing, but it might just get you on the way if you've already got dirty fingers and you want to find a little bit more out about your vehicle and your fault. So uh, there we go, King Bolam, budget scanner, reviewed. <laughs>